Yo, what is going on, Gromies? Hope y'all are doing well. Growing well. Now, Gromies, today we are going to be going over how to make your own weed strains feminized. In order to make your own feminized strains, the method that we'll be using is reversing a female plant with silver thiosulfate solution, aka STS. In this video, we do have to conduct chemistry with some very reactive and volatile compounds. So as a professional microbiologist scientist, I am conducting this reaction in a safe and controlled environment with personal protective equipment. Before we begin, these are the three main resources that you will need in order to make your own STS. The first ingredient is distilled water. And yes, it has to be distilled. Otherwise, the highly reactive compounds will interact with the millions of contaminants instead of producing the final reaction. The next ingredient you need is silver nitrate, which also has to be above a 99.9% .9 purity. And the final main ingredient is sodium thiosulfate, which again also has to be highly pure, above 99%. Starting the reaction, the concentrate, now, Gromies, before you create your own STS, you have to keep in mind, this is a very volatile reaction with real extreme dangers, such as severe burns and even potential blindness. So please only conduct this reaction if you are a professional. Step one, to make our concentrated STS mixture, first measure out 80 milliliters of water and dissolve 1.26 grams of sodium thiosulfate into solution. Another note, make sure that your glass is unpainted. Otherwise, it will burn the paint away and contaminate the solution in future reactions. Step two, in a separate, different pure glass container, measure out 20 milliliters of distilled water and mix in 0.34 grams of silver nitrate. Okay. Step three, add the silver nitrate solution to the sodium thiosulfate solution and stir instantly, rapidly. Do not let this reaction sit. At this point, congratulations, this STS solution has been created at a concentration of 20 millimoles. Now this concentration is extremely potent and will hurt your plant. So we have to dilute it down to three millimoles. In this case, I'm going to make a diluted solution of 200 milliliters. In order to do so, in another separate clean clear container, add in 170 mils of distilled water, and then add 30 mils of the 20 millimole concentration. And that's it. Now this reaction can be stored in a fridge for up to a month for the best results. But some people have results lasting much longer. Now, what do I do with the silver thiosulfate solution? How do I make feminized seeds? In order to make feminized seeds, you should start applying the solution directly to flowering sites during week one of flower or around day 20 to 25 for auto flowers. Many people hear the term STS and assume that it's always a spray, but this solution is highly toxic and should not be sprayed inside, especially in your tent. What I prefer to do is get a paintbrush and paint the solution onto the plants. By painting on the solution, you avoid aerosolization of silver thiosulfate. If you spray the solution, it is very easy to contaminate not only your entire grow space, but quickly your whole home. To tell where the flowering sites begin, look for a small branch offshoot and paired leaves sprouting along the branches. Here is an example. In order to reverse these plants, there isn't an exact method on how often to apply the STS, but usually one to three times per week has worked well for myself, continuously painting the same branches over and over. Also, to mention again, the compound that we have created is highly toxic. You cannot consume the flowers that have had STS applications, which is why I usually like to isolate a single branch or a few bud sites on the edges. Depending on how much STS you apply, 
can determine how much pollen and of course seed production that the plant will create, but it is all strain dependent. Anyways, Gromies, after applying the solution one to three times per week, you should start to see a female plant creating male pollen sacs, and then of course pollen. By at least week four in flower, this plant has been chemically induced to display hermaphroditic traits and pollinate itself in the surrounding plants. If you ever wondered what an S1 or S means, it's self-pollination, which is what the plant will do now. But my next question is how does STS work? Microbiology lesson. The big role about STS is the highly ionic charge of the silver ions interacting with the plant's ethylene receptors. These receptors are proteins that specifically bind to ethylene molecules, and when blocked by ionic silver, it prevents the normal signal pathways to prevent the production of ethylene. Ethylene is a plant hormone vital to developing female flowers. These ethylene receptors are located inside the endoplasmic reticulum membrane, which they are bound upon. The point of these receptors is detecting ethylene gas, which freely diffuses into the plant cells. Also, ethylene is naturally produced by the plant itself, which is synthesized from the amino acid methionine and then converted by several proteins into the gas itself. Looking even deeper into the ethylene receptors, there are three main domains to its structure. First is the transmembrane domain, which anchors the receptor to the endoplasmic reticulum membrane. Next is the ethylene binding domain, which detects ethylene gas and also interacts with silver ions. And last is the histamine kinase domain, which sends reception, relay, and amplification signals amongst their specific pathways. As ethylene is continuously inhibited, the male hormone called gibberellins takes over and thus male flowers begin to develop. So next time you're growing your plants and you see them starting to herm, you know that at a molecular level, ethylene production or signaling has been inhibited and disrupted. Anyways, with this new information, I hope Gromies start creating their own feminized seeds and brand new strains that have never existed before. Plus, learning how to reverse a female plant can help preserve the strains that we love. Also, I hope you guys enjoy the science lesson in this video. I am a professional microbiologist scientist, and it really does make me happy to teach others what I've learned myself, especially making new connections and learning what is actually happening down to every molecule. As always, thank you guys for watching. If this video was helpful and you enjoyed, please leave a like. If you haven't seen my other grow slash milk reports, check them out. Keep it up out there, Gromies, and stay motivated in this beautiful medicinal hobby. Hashtag Gromie Gang.